Um, what if, if, one, if we expand the field a bit more to, to culture and maybe the arts in general, um, would you expect any sort of influence of, of Buddhism on Western culture and art? There's already been a, a sort of limited uh, influence. But I, I would say that it's not a question of having a Western art mm -hmm. and, and then that Western art being essentially unchanged, is subject to some sort of uh, peripheral, superficial mm -hmm. Buddhist influence. Mm -hmm. I think it's much more the, uh, a question of uh, those people in the West who are influenced by Buddhism just rethinking and, and re-experiencing mm -hmm. their whole conception of art itself yeah. and then creating art, new art, mm -hmm. perhaps Western Buddhist mm -hmm. art. In, in, in what way that. should they rethink their conception of art? You've given quite a bit of thought to that, haven't you? Yes. I think it's difficult uh, to, 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 to generalize, eh? but uh, I, I, I think uh, that the rethinking is to be principally concerned with the, the whole nature of art, the mm -hmm. function of art, mm -hmm. what art does for human beings, mm -hmm. and what its purpose is. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I would say that the, that the main thing that needs to be rethought uh, or reaffirmed, perhaps, is that the, the, the fact that through art we do have, or we can have, access uh, to, a, to a higher, mm -hmm. more ideal, if you like, archetypal mm -hmm. realm. Mm -hmm. And that it's the main, the principal function of art to reveal or reflect that realm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of uh, you know, modern art, of course, does, doesn't do that, doesn't mm -hmm. try to do that, doesn't have that sort of conception of art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and could you see that this conception of art uh, being well expressive or gi giving access to higher states of mind? Um, would you um, th this would not, would not need to be um, expressed in, say, just Buddha images or just specifically mm. Buddhist? It art. wouldn't would it need to be expressed in traditionally. In Buddhist terms, yeah, no, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. but just as, for instance, in uh, in Japanese Zen art, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily get figures of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Mm -hmm. You may just get a bamboo, mm -hmm. or you may just mm -hmm. get a flower. Yeah, but it does somehow express something of the the spirit of Buddhism. Yeah, mm -hmm. you even just get calligraphy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which isn't even figurative. Mm -hmm but nonetheless does express mm -hmm. its harmony, its mm -hmm. balance, its energy, mm -hmm. something of the spirit of Buddhism. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be labelled, you know, Buddhist mm -hmm. art yeah. to yeah. be Buddhist art. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that could be a genuine approach for people to um, involve with Buddhism, actually? It could be if they were artists to begin with and if they were dissatisfied with the general condition mm -hmm of uh, modern Western art and were looking around for some means of renewal. Yeah. They could possibly come to the conclusion that that means of renewal was to be found in a deep personal immersion in Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Not just taking up Buddhist themes and using them, mm -hmm. something much deeper than that, mm -hmm. something more far-reaching than mm -hmm. that. Yeah.